Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. Today we're going to be doing box 8 of the Agora Models release of Build the Lamborghini Mirror. Now, this doesn't look much like a mirror, but this is what we are working on in the last pack and we're actually going to be adding on to that today, namely putting the horns on and we're also going to start doing the suspension. So it's a lot of tiny things. In fact, the box this came in was quite a small box, so you're going to be a lot of detail today. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one, but can't wait to jump into this without further ado. Let's get cracking. Now, if you remember, in the last stage, we had stage 58, which had the horns in, which haven't even opened yet. It's now that we're gonna start working on them. So I can get this open. And there is a slight difference between these horns. One is labeled A, one is labeled B, and they do have the little lug in the center there in different places. So what we're gonna do is take one of the rear horns and put one of these caps just on the end like this. And we're gonna do the same on the other horn. The caps are universal, so it doesn't matter which one goes in, but that's a horn done. And then I just need the horn support, which I just fell out this bag. <laughs> and they're gonna be going into the positions in here. There is a little hole for the lug to go in. So it's just a push in, so it goes in like that. My, uh, never noticed this before. Look, my workstation has a uh, little bit of a, a tilt on it. Interesting. Might have to uh, square up this desk. And you know you've got them in the right place because they should look just like that. Now it doesn't want these going anywhere. So I'm putting a bit of glue down because we are going to be gluing this into place. So load up my little Archimedes drill here. Drop some glue just into those holes before the thing runs away from me and get this in place. And just do the same on the other side. So bringing up this massive section we've been working on, you can see we've got two holes just down the bottom there. These are just gonna push in with those two lugs into those holes. I'm just gonna see what sort of fit this is. If it's a tight fit, then I won't worry about gluing it. It's a very tight fit. So there you go, the horns are in like that. And that is all there is to doing that issue, which means all the parts for stage 59, we've still got in the bag. This is getting very confusing because in stage 60, we're going to be using the parts from stage 59. So I need the reinforcement crossbar here. I also need to create the horn actuator body. And quite simply, the first thing I'm going to do is just put the cap on. I'm just going to see what sort of tile. It's a very tight fit. I'm not going to need to glue that. So that's the actuator, I can't even say the word, actuator body done. And I'm going to be putting this into this cross member here. So it needs to be this way round. And this section here is just gonna clip into the two holes that you can see there. So get that pushed in. One, two, nice and hard. And there we go, that's in. I've then got the windscreen washer bottle here, which is gonna go onto the two lugs just there. And again, push that on. Make sure it's on all the way. You're not gonna need to put glue in this. It goes on quite firm, as you can see. Bring over the front frame assembly, and we've got these two fixing points just on top here and here. So this is gonna be going around this way, on like that. It's gonna be held in with these size A screws. We're going into metal. So not only am I dipping this in oil, I am using my PH1 screwdriver. Just gets me a little bit of extra torque on that to ensure that that's down nice and tight. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Put that to one side because stage 60, one, believe it or not, is going to be using parts from stage 60. So I'm going to get these out. I also need these two little brackets here. So laying this down exactly like they've got it in the picture. I want one bracket to be this way round on that side and one bracket 
to be this way round on that side there. So it looks just like that. Now, if we have trouble getting these brackets in here, we are going to need to sand down the edges here, just of the paint, just to ensure that we can get that into place. Now, they do provide uh, sandpaper, but I'm just using my little sanding stick here, just to help out. So they're held in with type G screws. Again, use a little bit of oil. See, that's gone on fine now, nice and smooth. Load up the screw and just get that all the way through. Historically, again, this is normally where I take my fingers off. And I'm, I'm using my heavy duty screwdriver and that's imperfect, just like that. So just making sure that's in the right way. That's perfect. So this one again is going in this way, just over here. The screw's going in from this side. Just make sure that screw goes all the way through and secure that into position. Now, the shock absorber is going to be going into this center section just here. Now, again, if it doesn't fit, you just need to sand down the paint on each side here. So, do that now. One that side. And that side. And that should fit perfectly in there then like that. Once again, type G screw going in this time from this side here and get that all the way in. And there we go. That's perfect and in position. So what we want to do then is take this wishbone with a shock and we're going to be inserting this into these two square panels there so that they come out, turning it upside down into these two holes that you can see just there. They're going to be held in with type A screws. So again, a little bit of oil. Just make sure I've lined this up correctly. And get that screwed in. And there you go. Once that's in, it should look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. In stage 62, we're going to do exactly what we just did in stage 61 by using the stage 61 parts. Does that make any sense? Look, there's that sandpaper there, look. Once again, we do have some F screws in here. I'm not quite sure what these are for. I'm keeping them safe for a second. This time, everything's going to be the opposite way around. So these are going to be in like this. Sand the ends if you need to, to get these in. But I think the line have gone in okay. Once again, G screws through this side and this side to keep these in. They're both in like that. Once again, take the shock out. And if we need to sand down the top, we could just get our sanding stick out and just sand that either side. So then that should fit nice and snug in there like that. Once again, with a G screw, it's going in from this side. and get that all the way through. You do want to make sure that screw goes all the way in there so it fits flush, but there we go, that's in place. And then once again, exactly like we did, but on the other side this time, is we'll be inserting this into the panels here. One and two. Then once again, type A screw to keep that into place. You do tend to find that these screws kind of go in at a slight angle to start off with. Until they catch and then you'll feel them going in. Now you know you've got it right. Because when I screw these in. You should feel the bite of the screw for a start. But the screw should fit underneath this section. So flush here but completely underneath here. So you should be able to put your finger over that and not feel any bumps. But that's both of those in place there. Looking good. Then I need these type P screws. Because I'm going to be putting the shocks in place. We're just slotting them into the sides just here on both sides. And then they're screwed in from the battery side. So I will put some oil on this and get these in. Perfect, so that's one locked into place just there. 
do the same on that side the screws just going into that position just there and this is the second one just going in here make that nice and tight excellent so shocks are in place and that is all there is to do in that stage once again i am still left with these f screws So in stage 63, you guessed it, we're going to be using the parts from stage 62. And I need the upper left wishbone. So this is what the wishbone looks like. It fits into the channel just here. So if I just to push that in gently, to give you an idea, it's going to fit in just like that. And I've got two supports here, just putting these around the right ways. Uh, the one that's got a larger section here is A, the smaller one is B. So again, turning this over, A is going to go in this side, B is going to go in this side, and all we're going to be doing is putting this in so that it's going to hold in this part into place. And it's going to be held in with a type D screw. Just like that, and get that all the way in. Need a bit of extra torque there, so I'm using my PH1 screwdriver. And then we just take the bracket for B and do exactly the same thing on the other side and there we go that's that upper wishbone in place the last thing i've got to do is take this torsion bar here and again turning this over you'll see i've got a hole just there and this is just going to push into that facing towards the hub carrier there so if you just leave that like that for now now you see we've got a pin on there this is what's going to attach the other end to this so I can push that in and it looks just like that there. Now it's not asking me to glue that into position. So I'm just going to leave that as it is at the moment. But that's all there is to do in that stage. So because of the laws of symmetry, <laughs> stage 60, let's get this right. Stage 64 is going to be using parts from stage 63. So, but we're doing everything on the other side. <laughs> this is so confusing, but hopefully you're keeping up. Okay, so once again, this is going to be going in this way here. Look, we should be able to whiz through it. I'm going to get out the little brackets here and put them into position. So this time, the larger one that I've got, which is this one here, turn it over, is going to be going on the opposite side over here. Just like that and it's held in with a D screw. And do the same on the other side. I do like this way of doing it. It does make things a lot easier to get these into position. There you go, which means the wishbone's in place. And just like we did on this side here, I'm just gonna be pushing this torsion bar in here and then putting the other end into the hub carrier or the suspension, should I say. I just call things whatever I call them now. <laughs> I don't care anymore. <laughs> there we go. So that's in like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's looking pretty good. So in stage 65, <laughs> we're using parts from stage 64, which as you can see, we're assembling a disc. This is going to be very quick stage this is and it should bring everything back into line hopefully so i'll just get all these parts out now i do have some uh, covers to put on for model mods for this but just for the purposes of the video i'm just going to clip these two parts together like this and as you can see it does make a disc there and then believe it or not we are actually going to be opening this stage up because we've got the hub carriers i've got it right this time that's going to go on so i just want the hub carriers now they are labeled left and right so the one i've got here is the left one this was in the left bag now this is the front left wheel hub that looks like that and what i've got here is the left angle drive little detail which is just going to go into this center section just here like that now should fit in no problems it's not falling out so that's good to one side i'm going to do exactly the same with the right hub here and again just lining this up and pushing that into position i think i am going to just put a tiny 
bit of glue around this one because this right one is a bit loose on mine. Just to A to keep that in. I don't want to lose pieces, you see. Uh, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So in the last uh, pack here, pack 66, you see we've got another disc here. But uh, guess what? We're not using that at all. I'm going to keep that to one side. Uh, I am going to be bringing back this section here because I'm going to be attaching these hub carriers uh, that we created in the last stage. Now, we're going to be working on the right-hand side first. So this is the side nearest to that water reservoir there. And I'm going to be putting this bottom section just into the bottom section there. Close the wishbone down and the top section is going to be fitting on there. So that's now looking like that there. Now, this arm here is going to go into that section. So that's kind of like how it's going to go. Now, what I need to do is just start to screw this together. Now, this is why we need those F screws now. So, glad I've kept them safe. These are flange screws. So I put in some bit of oil. One is going to go on the top just here. The other one is going to go underneath. So turn it over and drive that one in here like this. Make sure it's tight. Perfect. As you see, it has just come out of this little section here. Not a big deal. I can put that straight back in like that. They don't actually want me to secure that down yet onto that one, but I am going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. So just put it into the position it's going to go like this, like that, with this over the top like that, held in again with F screws. And I will ensure that these parts are in here. I'm guessing eventually they're probably going to be held in with another F screw. But you know what? They haven't asked me to put an F screw in here. They've left them blank. So I'm not going to do that. But that's the end of that stage. That's the end of the pack. It does mean we're left with these two breaks uh, that we're probably going to be assembling in pack seven. Now, I did say that was a fiddly pack, didn't I? But uh, it does look really good. Look, check all of that out there and there. So uh, excited to see what's coming up. It does give me a chance to actually pull out the model mods uh, break uh, disc mod that I've got there. I think that's in the playlist as well, uh, so you can have a check of that. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.